Let's talk about short field landings. Short field landing. The ACS will require it on a check ride, so we have to practice it, and it is great, it is good practice, okay? So we're basically, we're flying slow flight. On final, we want to be in our slow flight configuration, so we'll have this airplane I teach, we'll do 30 degrees of flaps, and we want to be about 65 miles an hour on final, okay? Remember that slow airspeed can be dangerous, just don't, we don't want to bank the plane too much because that load factor, right? As you increase your bank, you have an increase of a load on your airplane. There's increase of G's, right? The positive G's on your airplane. And so the airplane feels like it's heavier. So that increases your stall speed. Keep your traffic, Scott. 70136, midfield downwind, runway 5. Okay. So, how do we want to set up for this? Approach. Okay, we want to land on that number there. Okay, so we're going to land on the five. So my aiming point, my visual aiming point, will not be the five. It'll be before the five, and that will be the threshold. Okay? And a lot of guys, you can remember, you can't land short, but you can land within 200 feet long or it, for private. Okay, so we'll bring our speed hey, down. One eight nine one Yankees clear, runway five. Get there. We'll go ahead and bring some flaps in. I'll get 20 degrees in right here. And we're about 70 to 75. Like I say, when we're on final, we would like it to be about 65 and 30 degrees of flaps. Remember, airspeed, our yoke is our airspeed. And our our throttle is our, throttle is our uh, altitude, okay? So if I want to... If I want to lose some altitude, just take some throttle out. If I want to increase or decrease my airspeed, I need to primarily use my yoke, my elevator, okay? And this is what we practice in slow flight, and this is why you practice it in slow flight, okay? So I have a pretty strong wind blowing me here, so I'm going to turn closer to the runway. Remember, the threshold is what I'm looking for, and I'd like to get right on the glide slope. I'm going to try to get right on or right below the glide slope. Okay, so I'm going to try to lose some altitude here. And I can always bring that power back in, okay? So 65, let's go ahead and put that 30 degrees of flaps in. There's the 30. Okay, not too slow. So if I get too slow, I can pitch the nose down just a bit. There we go. I got two whites still, two white lights on my pappy. All right, there's 65, and I got 30 degrees of flap, so let's just keep it right here, 65. So I'm going a little fast. I'm going to trim my nose. There we go. 65. I feel like I'm sinking, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of power down right on the pappies there. Okay, so I can't pull back anymore, right? So I have to give more power. All right? Remember, I don't have much airspeed to lose now. Okay, so I'm coming in. Giving it power, I'm just dragging this power in, trying to stay right about 65, 60, 65. And right when I get over my threshold, I'll pull it off and just hold it, hold it, hold it. And there's, okay, and there's your landing. There's a short field landing.